Uh, as you can see here, like I said before, if I I make cores, and this core is for the um, this magnet here that I made that was two magnets before that was that was on to um, these two speakers. So what I did was broke it down, broke both of them down, combined them together, and the the inside engine. I cut it off the other one and weathered it on top of this one then put it up on the bottom and put it all back together as you can see I put it all back together and made the magnet which was made the magnet which was this thick which was that thick now this thick which I made a core to take up for the distance of the magnet being so so big so I could sort of get a bigger stroke so it'll go in that far and stop at the bottom but as you can see I drew a line because I wanted to sit about this far outside and stroke that inch and a half stroke that inch and a half right there to the bottom so I might put it about a quarter above that so I can get about a two inch stroke and here's the um, base that's going to be the speaker that's going to be in it stroking once I it's going to go on up in that like that and here's the casing here right here I'm gonna put it all together and um hopefully it'll work out pretty good some some that I'm trying to fabricate and make my own sub and make it stroke like a GLW7 and uh I made this core I drew a line to where it should go. And my wire came in. I made the coil off of And um, my heat treat tape came in. That's good for making cords too. And I made core. I made this cord not too long ago for a kicker cup. And I made two of them because this one's like about uh, a sixteenth too small. And I want to have a better stroke. It's a dual four, dual four core. And this one is just a, a single, like a JL. But when this cord is to be, um, when I, it used to be, it, it seems to work a lot better and be a lot stronger because I use Loctite instead of epoxy or anything, and it seems to hold more heat more better. When you make a cord, it seems to hold better, holds more heat, more power, more watts. And it just it just works a lot better. I've been, I've been really pleased with it. I have built a JLW7. And I'll show you over here. A JLW7. Right there. And um it it, it holds like eight to ten thousand watts. It's unreal how much power this speaker handles. And I had two of these amps, two of these 4,000 watts um, power acoustics hooked to it. If anyone is familiar with these, I had two of these hooked to it right here, 4,000 watt power acoustic. When you combine them together and put out 8,000 watts, and I had it pushing this 1JL W7. Right here, you can see that I actually rebuilt it because if you look on the inside, you can see that new Gorilla Glue, which uh, works pretty good on this. To hold it together, don't look the best, but doesn't look the best, like I just said. But the base is wild. I tried my best to blow it. I've been trying to blow it for a year. I cannot blow it at all with 8,000 watts on it. Can't blow it. But that's that's the tale for what's going on right now with this new sub I'm trying to build and that JLW7, which I'm gonna I'm gonna post on um, eBay and try to sell it. Cause it's gonna make someone a good woofer. Cause I'm coming out of systems, and I'm trying to build this speaker here for a guy that actually wants a strong woofer. And I took two woofers, which I'll go back over here and show you guys where it all where it all started from. It all started from these two power acoustic foo bars, and you know they was pretty good speakers at 1800 watts, and um, which I had two of them. And the guy blew on my bottom from because I bought I bought them blown 
like I bought that JLW7, it was blue, it was blew up, it didn't work anymore. And um I rebuilt the JLW7, and I took back to the food bars, I took them apart, and here goes the finished product right here of the two magnets from the food bar, power acoustics, and the cord is gonna go in there. It's at the cabinet right there. And hopefully uh, it'll go pretty good and I'm gonna show you guys after I put it together if it's actually gonna work real if it's gonna work pretty good on this fabricated speaker from scratch. See you next time on YouTube.